I was almost attacked by a crazy person in Portland. I... Oh, it was the scariest thing. And, oh, it's still... It, it happened yesterday afternoon, and it still oh, it freaks me out. I was with my sister... My two, shh, I'm telling a story. I was with my two sister-in-laws. We were up in Portland to go to a church, big church thing called um, Weekend for Women, Time Out for Women. It's a, one time a year that my church puts this thing together for Weekend for Women. It's like a spiritual uplifting thing that's just for women. It's pretty nice. I've never been before. I went this year. It was really nice. And it just ended. We were leaving. We were walking to our car, which was at the hotel. Lincoln. Lincoln. Come here. Play with brother's car. Don't go into the bathroom and play in the toilet again. Um, so, we were going, like, my two sister-in-laws were in front of me, and I was walking with Lincoln on my chest, like, in a baby carrier, because I had to take him with me because he's still breastfeeding in the turkey. And my husband, for some reason, doesn't want to breastfeed him, so whatever. I guess it's my job. But, so, we were walking, and my two sister-in-laws were in front of me, and I was behind because we were, like, this narrow part by the bus stop. And I, we saw this crazy lady. And she was, like, talking. She looked like she was drunk or something. And she was talking to this dude that was sitting on a bench that also was, seemed pretty crazy. And she's like, I just want to punch somebody. I just want to punch somebody. And then she looks over at my sister-in-law's. And she, like, goes right up, like, right up to their face. And she's like, what if I just punch you right now, huh? What if I just punch you? Would you like that? And my sister-in-law's are just like... One of them was like, okay, just keep on walking, just keep on walking. And so I like watching this. I'm like, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, because I know that she's going to turn around and look at me because she's busy with my sister-in-law's threatening to punch him and, like, take... She's like, why don't you just give me all your money? Because I need cigarettes. She's like, just give me all your money. I'm like, oh, okay, this is, this is not good. My sister-in-law just ignored her and just kept on walking. And so she kind of looked like this way, that way, and I'm like, okay, I'm like going to try to sneak around her. And then she comes like right up to me, and she's like, ooh, look at your fancy baby. And I like took a blanket that I had with on Lincoln, I put it over his head, and I kind of like held him to my chest. And um, like I just like huddled around him, like put my body around him. And she's like, what if I take your fancy baby? What would you do? She's like, what if I punch you? I'm like... And I just kept on walking, and she just finally, like, I was afraid that she was going to, like, I was seriously, I was, like, 90% sure she was going to hit one of us or try to take Lincoln, and I didn't know what to do, because I'm not one to, like, be physical or, like, get in someone's face, because I'm afraid that they're going to, like, not back off, but, like, actually hit me, but, um, oh, that was so terrifying. Oh, we walked and she just kind of did her own thing. But the dude, the dude was like, just hit him. Just hit her. And I'm like, dude, shut up. I was so scared. Oh, I didn't want to be attacked by a crazy lady. That I'm like, I had a wad of cash, like $90 in my pocket. I'm like, okay, if she gets really aggressive, I'm going to throw the money in the streets. So hopefully she gets hit by a car or something. And we'll get enough time to walk, run away. Oh, my hair. I have come to the conclusion my hair will never be normal. The pinkness makes it go crazy. So I have like this horror. Oh. This is why I don't need a face forward camera because then I'm like distracted by my awesomeness of hair. Um, so that was an exciting part of my weekend also found out that we're pregnant again, so that's, that's kind of like a low light to, I was almost killed by a crazy lady. Okay, I don't want to over-exaggerate. She never even laid a hand on us, but she got really close in our face. But, yeah. So, there's my excitement for the weekend. I hope you guys are having a better weekend. Yeah, okay, okay. I know you guys wouldn't want me to talk about this. The pregnancy came as a huge surprise. I had decided that we were finished having kids. Two were great. 
two's enough for our family. I decided that like three years, weeks ago. Lincoln, come on. Stay out of the kitchen. No back talk. You say, okay, mama. Nine month olds, they don't listen. Um, but yeah, huge surprise. Um, very unexpected, very unplanned because we were, I was finished. I was done. And then I'm like, I feel like I'm pregnant. And I looked at Brigham like, what did you do? Brigham's my husband. Have I ever mentioned his name? They just kind of give you a weird look. Hopefully that one is the one that they picked to be a, the whatever, but, um, it's in the water bottle. So, yeah, I have no idea when we conceived or when it will be coming. We estimate around the time my first son turns three. So I'll have like three within three years. Don't do this. <laughs> This is what crazy people do. They drown themselves in children and then they're miserable for the rest of their lives. I'm just kidding. I'm actually, I don't know if it's the pregnancy hormones or what, but it's like I'm really, really excited and happy. And then I get a little bit nervous and then I feel like I'm sad. But this has like been the easiest pregnancy for, so far. Maybe my hair will actually calm down. Maybe my hair's going to get crazier every kid I have. This is definitely the last one. But, um... What was I saying? This has been so easy. I usually feel sick. Like anytime I eat, I feel sick with my boys, my first two. Um, and I would like crave barbecue and root beer, like pulled pork sandwiches and like a big bottle of root beer. But now it's like, I feel fantastic. I feel a bit tired, but that's just normal. And Look at that. My hair will never be normal. Um, but I've been feeling really good. I feel just like I wake up in the morning. I'm like, I'm tired, but it is a fantastic morning because I am blessed with this child that I was not expecting to ever have. So, and I don't really care if it's a boy or a girl. I kind of want it to be, this is the coolest hair yet. Um, a boy, because I know boys, I know what to expect. You kind of just throw them in the group, but. A girl would be a cool change too, I guess. I don't know. I wouldn't know what to do with her. I would dress her up in boy clothes and dye her hair. That's one cool thing about a girl. I could dye her hair. Like wait till she's about a month old and then do it. Well, that's old enough, right? So there's my two big news. I was almost killed by a crazy lady. Okay, I was almost attacked by a crazy lady. And we're having baby number three. I'm going to vlog more during this pregnancy because I want to look back and be like, yeah, that was a cool time, or oh my gosh, look how fat I got. I blow up during pregnancies, like, even if I'm watching my weight, which I really haven't the past two ones, but I'm doing it this time because I know better. I can't believe I just gave birth nine months ago and I'm pregnant again. Uh -huh. That's why I keep on going from like, okay, I'm going to do so good during this pregnancy to... I just gave birth nine months ago. Lincoln, don't do that. No, I need that paper. Stop. No, don't destroy the paper. Bad baby. You're going to be a middle child. Stop seeking attention already. Yeah. So, I hope you guys are having a great day. And stay out of Portland because crazy people live there. And they'll try to take your baby. Oh, I guess I could have given him one. I'm having another. So, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And if not, things will get better. And I will talk to you later, probably tomorrow, because I have a lot to say, because I have to do all the insurance stuff over again. If anybody's a hairstylist out there, give me some tips. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a lot to rant about, because I hate paperwork. I ate the first part of pregnancy because it's 90% paperwork.